Guys, Master Gears here with a PC performance video and this video is mainly going to be a test of the Avermedia Live Gamer HD which is a PCI Express capture card built for your computer. It has HDMI in, HDMI out so it captures a raw stream directly from any HDMI product. It has audio in and audio out so that you can either plug a headset in or you can capture a separate PC audio source that goes straight into the back of the card. Uh, my particular setup, I have the HDMI coming out of the GDX670. It goes out of the GDX670 and runs into the HDMI input of the capture card. And how I've actually got it set up is because I've got a 120 hertz monitor, I have the DVI dual link cable coming out of the graphics card and into my monitor. And I have the HDMI out coming out of the graphics card and into the capture card and then in NVIDIA control panel you can actually go in and you can clone your display so that what that means is you can still play in 120 Hertz through the DVI-D cable and you can capture in 60 Hertz through HDMI out on the graphics card that goes into the capture card which is an incredibly handy feature if you do have a decent monitor so we'll go into settings here and I'll just prove that uh, this game is running maxed, so we'll go graphics. DX11, uh, full screen, 19201080, 119 hertz, VSync is on. I run VSync on because uh, it really helps with the screen tearing in this game, especially when you're capturing. And because I have a 120 hertz monitor, VSync only limits my frames per second to 119 frames a second, which is more than enough. Texture quality very high, shader quality high, it doesn't go to very high, uh, shadow quality very high, reflection, water, FXAA all very high. MSAA I have off because I use FXAA instead. The visual quality of FXAA at very high is very similar to MSAA or CSAA settings. Anisotropic at 16x, ambient occlusion at HDAO which is a DirectX 11 exclusive feature and tessellation is also a DX11 exclusive feature that is set to very high. You can see I'm using a GDX670 2 gigabyte version card and the current video memory being used in this setup is 965 megabytes. So we'll jump back, go to story and we'll go to continue. So we're recording this live. You'll see with the SSD, bang, it loads. It is so good to be able to have a game that loads so fast. There's no way to go. Where is he? Yeah. This guy, right? Put him out of his misery. <laughs> Up here. Yep. Oh. Shoot. Where, where's the bullets? There's. Where's this guy? Oh. Shoot him. You did. Yeah, so we're recording now. 720p. Oh, oh. Recording in 720p, and you can see I'll do some circles because circles are a fantastic way to, give them to test uh, video games and their performance. A lot of video games do a thing called uh, backface culling, so anything that's behind you isn't rendered, so it will only render when you actually turn around. Uh, so it's a great way to test the performance. So you can see spinning around about 88 frames a second is as low as it dropped to there. Oh, 82, 80. So when we get into some areas where there's more complex geometry, the frames per second still drops. But considering that this game is maxed and I'm capturing it in real time and it hasn't dropped below 70 frames a second, that is that is amazing. Shoot last enemy. Okay. Slow down the bullet time. Keep pulling the trigger as well. Slow this guy with bullets. Blah, 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 blah. Wow, that was pretty violent. So we're sitting at 71 degrees Celsius, 98 to 99% GPU usage, uh, constantly constantly using the, the graphics card to its full potential. Memory, we're just under, or we're just over a gigabyte. And yeah, between, between 70 and 110 frames a second, which is crazy. Like I said, considering I'm recording, that is incredibly good performance. Oh, this guy shooting down. Oh! This is moving around. Get over there. Quick. Broncos next that charitable cool. donation so, would be to the world. Yeah, you can see that the Avermedia Live Gamer HD capture card has incredible performance, mainly because it has a built-in hardware encoder, so that the actual card is doing all of the processing rather than using a CPU to do any of the processing. And that translates to incredible gameplay performance 
an incredible recording performance. So I hope you like this video, guys. And yeah, tell me what you think of the card and the quality. I'll see you later.